Federal prosecutors on Wednesday told a judge that they oppose Ponzi scheme kingpin Bernie Madoff's recent request for early release from prison on compassionate grounds due to his terminal kidney disease. The nature of Madoff's crime, unprecedented in scope and magnitude, wholly justified the 150-year sentence this court imposed and is by itself a sufficient reason to deny Madoff's motion, prosecutors wrote in a filing in U.S. District Court in Manhattan. Furthermore, since his sentencing, Madoff has demonstrated a wholesale lack of understanding of the seriousness of his crimes and a lack of compassion for his victims, underscoring that he is undeserving of compassionate release himself. The filing by the United States Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York, which cited letters from some of the more than 500 victims who have written Judge Denny Chin to oppose Madoff's early release, pointedly does not dispute Madoff's claim that he could die in less than two years. But prosecutors said that the 81-year-old's condition in a federal prison facility in North Carolina had improved since last November, when he restarted dialysis treatments. And they noted that when Madoff was sentenced in 2009, a judge had rejected an argument by his lawyer for a 15- to 20-year sentence, which could give him a chance to die a free man, to send a message that Madoff had been punished to the fullest extent of the law. Even though time has passed and Madoff may now be near the end of his life, that message is equally important, prosecutors wrote. He should not be released. A lawyer for Madoff, who orchestrated the largest Ponzi scheme in history while running Bernard L. Madoff Investment Securities in New York City, last month said in a court filing that the fraudster has less than 18 months to live. The attorney said Madoff is suffering from numerous other serious medical conditions, including cardiovascular disease and hypertension.